what would you say if you had a specific response to the death trap? If I may say it in a word, is sour griping. Who colonized Africa? Was it China or the Western power? <laughs> How come after Africa regained its independence, they who had colonized Africa abandoned Africa? Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Please subscribe, leave your comment, join in the discussion. It's very important. I love to hear from you. Listen, we are growing very fast. It means there's a lot of people that want to understand what's going on in China, around the world. And, you know, Western criminals hate us for this. Uh, so just be prepared if you want to hop on board. Today, let's talk about this myth, this lie. It's actually an old story. I'm sure you know about it. It's called the China's Depth Trap. Uh, diplomacy. This is what the system picks in the media calls it these paid propagandists online, all these clowns in the West that just hates China. What they essentially say is China is handing out these loans to these poor countries and then later on they're going to push them into debt so these countries can't pay China back and they will seize their assets. For what? Anyway, it doesn't matter. That is what they are saying. Now in 2024, we just saw the uh, African, um, the China-Africa uh, summit here in Beijing. It's dead. The, the whole myth is now officially dead. I heard CNN also starts to admit it's not really true, which is a good thing. It's a, it's a step in the right direction, but still we're going to have to fight against these lies to make the world a better place. But let's see what this whole thing is really actually about. Why are they angry at China for helping Africa or poor countries? Check. If I may say it in a word, is sour griping. Sour griping is essentially saying because I can't have it, you should also not have it. It is an attempt to discourage Africa to continue to relate with China. This right here, that is the reason. This is the key reason. You see, it's called the Belt and Road Initiative. What this is, is basically China is connecting the world with China so that Supply chain is easier, trade is easier, a prosperous world for everyone, not for one side, for everyone, all these countries. And the Western world is super angry about this because they can't understand. We hand out money to Zelensky. We want war. We want to steal resources from other countries. That's how we do it. Who are you, China, to try and build up other countries and uh, share the future, a prosperous future together? That's not how we do it. That's not what we want. The West breaks down. China builds up. That is why they are super, super angry. The 2024 Africa-China Summit was just a couple of days ago. Over 50 leaders from, from all these African countries uh, on, on the continent attended these meetings. And uh, a beautiful Xi Jinping opened up this summit by saying, Hey, I've been to Africa 10 times. I see the potential between the East and Africa. And he also said, You know what? It's time to make a prosperous future for the whole world. Let's help Africa. You see, the West hate that because uh, they want to see Africa go down. They, they don't see African leaders as partners. They see them as nothing. They, they want to give aid to this African countries, you know, aid like throwing out food to poor kids. China treats them as real business partners. Look at Tiananmen Square. When these African uh, leaders attend, uh, arrived in Beijing, you could see their flags on the poles in Tiananmen Square all over Beijing. China treats Africa like real partners while the West is treating them like nothing. Let's give you aid. Look what they do to Zelensky. Give him money to kill people. China says, let's build roads. Let's build, let's build a future together. Let's do business. Let's be real partners. You are not less than us. We just need to work together. And that is why China is the better option. Well, he also said this. China promises to expand cooperation with Africa and invest 51.4 billion US dollars by 2027. Ladies and gentlemen, the, way the Western media says it's a 50 million, a 50 billion. No, it's 51 billion, 51.4 billion, you clowns. L let's get real. That 1 billion makes a difference. And it's a lot of money by 2027. Um, China now has strategic partnerships with 53 of the 54 African countries. Investments range from industry to agriculture. Well done. Here we go. You see, the whole debt trap thing is dead now. Now we're going to see real investments. Now we're going to see real uh, growth in Africa. Now we're going to see new construction. We're going to see these people living in Africa in poverty 
being lifted out of poverty. Remember what China did to their own people. They lift this whole country out of poverty. China was a poor country. Look at it now. The second strongest super. It's, it's the second strongest economy in the world. It's a superpower. They're going to do the same to Africa. China is going to help them. Well, now that you know a little bit more about this whole Africa-China cooperation thing and understand that this debt trap diplomacy nonsense is dead, let's hear what some of these African people have to say about this whole summit and this idea of working with China. See, propaganda has so many lies about China. There's a book, it's called China in My Own Eyes. That's a very good, nice book to read, written by one of the African uh, students who have been here before. So to me, when I read that book, I realized that, yeah, that's the book that talks about real China. It's better to teach someone how to fish rather than giving the person to fish every day. I think that's a Chinese proverb, right? There are a lot of African traveling to China for studies, now serving in critical areas of our socio-economic development that will be long-lasting and mutually beneficial for our yeah, I would say China is an all-weather friend of the African people. It means that through thick and thin, through easy days, through dark days, we are friends. Everything is positive, so let's keep it that way. So I'm South African, let's hear what my president have to say. Uh, president Cyril Ramaphosa, he's got a lot of stuff wrong in the country. But this, is dead on right, let's check it out. Uh, China's not pushing Africa into debt traps, South African President say. He's 100% right. Uh, South African President Cyril Ramaphosa said on Thursday that he did not believe China's investments in Africa were pushing the continent into a debt trap, but, uh, but were instead part of a mutual beneficial relationship. And I'm going to move on. You see he was at the summit, but in anyway, I'm going to move on to the bottom part where he speaks. He says, I don't necessarily buy the notion that uh, when China invests it uh, with it's it's with intention of in the end ensuring that those countries end up in a debt trap and a debt crisis he's 100 percent right well done sir and i fully agree with you now if african leaders also don't say it african people african people part of this forums leaders if they if, if they are saying it's not true what the hell's going on with the west the truth is, it's debunked by these leaders themselves. They, they now say, don't listen to this propaganda. We're going to move forward and we're going to work with China to build a prosperous world between Africa and the East. It is what it is. Take it or leave it the West, but we are moving forward. Now that we all know this debt trap diplomacy is now finally dead, we see that Africa is now moving forward with China. They're going to build something amazing. We know the West is shaking in their boots. Um, we know the West wants war. China doesn't want war. China want to build up. They have BRI initiatives. They have all these ideas that's going to make the world a better place and Africa. Um, ladies and gentlemen, I just want to tell you this, that these loans China hands out, there's, there's a bunch of loans. Some of them went wrong. Some of them actually were redone. I just want to make this point very clear. I know the Chinese and it works like this. Before the Chinese signs any contract or contracts with these countries, any deals, they spend days, if not months, to make sure they go through every line, every point, to make sure there's no misunderstanding between the country they're doing business with and themselves. So never fall for the propaganda. That is another video from me, Jerry Good. Thank you for being here. Subscribe if you want to be kept informed of what is really going on around the world and here in China. And I'll see you in another video. Today I'm going to say... China and Africa is winning. The West lost. See you next time.